welcome along to part two of our video tutorial where we are creating our very own song in Sonic Pi. In the first tutorial we created the piano section for our song. Just give it a quick little run so you know what it roughly sounds like. You get the idea, that just repeats a few times, we're a little faster bit towards the end. Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is add in the bass line that goes along with the piano. Okay, so we're basically looking at the chords that we're playing here and we're going to play the same, very similar note to what's being played on the piano. It's just that we're going to play them a few octaves lower so it comes across as a deep bass sound. Okay, so go to the bottom of your code and we're going to put in a hashtag and write the word bass. That's just a comment telling us the next section of code below here is going to be for the bass. Alright, so what we're going to do first of all, if we have a look back up the top here, the first chord that we played was D5, and we played it three times. Okay, so we're going to play a D note on the bass three times. So, we're not playing a chord this time, we're just playing a note, so we only need to write the word play. And we put a colon, and we write in what note we want to play. So it would be the D note. But as I said before, we want to drop it a few octaves so it comes across as a deep bass sound. So we're going to put it as a D2 note. Alright, in between that we're going to sleep it for a quarter of a second and then we're going to play the D2 note again. All right, this time we're going to sleep it for half a second and then we're going to play it one last time, D2, and it will sleep for 0 0.25 seconds again. Okay, now if I was to run that now, this bass section wouldn't be heard until the piano was all finished playing. Okay, so the code's pretty much running in order. It plays the piano first, and then it would play the bass. But we don't want that. We want to mix the two sounds together. So we need to add in a line of code called in thread. And what that's going to do is it's going to mash our sounds together so that they play at the same time. Okay, we need to put it in for each section. So I'm going to go back up the top to the piano here. And in the piano section, the very top, I'm just going to write in underscore thread and then write do. Okay, so in thread do, and it's going to play all of this piano code, and at the very end of the piano code, you need to write the word end. That ends the first thread off, or the first bunch of sounds that we want, so that's the piano sound thread. Then we come down to the bass, and we've got the bass thread that we want to work with. Okay, so for the bass, we write the same code. Under the hashtag bass there, we write in thread do, and we're going to play bass sound a few times there. And then we're going to end it. Okay, and by having this in thread there, it allows these two sounds to play at the same time. So let's have a listen and see if we can hear this bass sound playing for the first three notes. Yep, I definitely heard it then. One thing I did notice though was that the notes just dragged on for a little bit too long. So what we can do is actually shorten them down by using a keyword called release. Okay, so go back to your baseline and find the first play D2. And after D2, I want you to put a comma in and write the word release. I'm going to do a colon, space, 0.35. That basically will release the bass note after 0.35 of a second. I think at the moment, the bass note was probably playing for about one second. So this will just shorten it down. And you can copy and paste that next to the other D2 notes there. So each of the three notes will be released after 0.35 of a second. Let's run it now and see if it just shortens those bass notes a little bit. Yep, sure did. Um, last thing I might do is just turn the volume down a little bit on each of those bass notes as well. A little bit too loud, so I'm going to change the amp to 0 0.5. So it's half the volume that it originally was. And we're going to copy that amp sound which stands for amplitude and just paste it in after the other D2 notes. Okay so that's all we need to get started on our bass note there. Let's have another listen. Yeah good. I'm also going to change the synth that we're using so underneath the in thread do I'm going to write use synth and don't ask me what the sign sound is but it actually sounds pretty decent like it's a bass so That sounds good. So go with the sign sound. I don't know what that actually stands for. Never mind. 
Okay, so after we've got that written in, what are we going to do? We're going to do the A sounds, the A note. So it is a very similar code to what we've got here already. So why don't we copy and paste it? I'm just going to copy and paste this one here because we're going to do a half a second sleep between each A note. So highlight this section here, Control C to copy, and down here, Control V to paste. And we're going to change the note to A2. Okay, everything else will stay the same. We're going to paste it in again and change it to A2. So we play the A2 note twice in a row. Okay, coming in below that, we play the G2 note twice in a row. So let's paste in that code a couple of times and change the D2s to G2s. Alrighty, that's looking good. And then down here, pasting one more time, we're going to do an A2 note for this final one. Okay, and it sleeps for one second there. And that's the first part of our bass line done. Okay, let's have a listen to see how that sounds. Alright, so it cuts out about there. So we need to repeat this section three times, just like we did with the chords above. So under use synth sign there, we're just going to push it down to a new line. Okay, and remember if we want to loop something, we first of all write in how many times we want to loop it. So this one will be three times. Then we write the word do. Okay, we want to repeat this whole section three times. So after that, we write the word end. And hopefully now that will be repeating three times. Well, it will be. Okay, I'm not going to test that right now. Just to save a bit of time, we're going to keep going with our code. All right, so we've got the faster chords now. Okay, if you look back up in the piano there, we've got this faster piano section where we played some chords really quickly three times, oh, sorry, eight times. So let's put in a hashtag down here, hashtag faster bass. Okay, and we're going to add in the faster bass sections. All right, so we want to play the G note nice and quickly eight times. Okay, so I'm going to make it the G2 note that we play. Remember, we're on the bass, so we want to drop it a couple of octaves, so it's nice and deep. Um, we're going to stick with the same stuff as before, where we release it and we turn the amp down a little bit. So this time, instead of releasing it at 0.35, we're going to speed it up a bit quicker and release it at 0.25. Okay, the amplitude though, the amp is still going to be 0.5. Alrighty, and then we're going to sleep after that for 0.25 of a second. All right, and we just want to repeat this little line of code eight times. Okay, so above the word play there, we need to write eight dot times and write the word do and then the word end at the bottom of that loop. So now we're going to be able to repeat that eight times over and over and over again. Let's copy that whole section there. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And this time, instead of the G2 note, we're going to do the A2 note. Everything else is the same. And then after that, oops, leave that end in there, sorry, we've got to come below that end. After that, we've got one note to finish on, and it's going to be the D2 note. So we're going to play D2, put in a comma, and make the amp, the amplitude, 0 0.5. Okay, we don't need to release this one quickly because this is the very final note of our song, so we do want it to linger on a little bit. Okay, so you can just leave the release out of that one. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, just trying to work out if there's anything else we still need to add. I don't think there is. We'll have a listen to it, see how it's sounding, and work out if there's any issues. So you should be listening for that bass in the background, that deeper sound. Sweet, that sounds really good. So I couldn't hear any issues. So that would be the bass section of our song all finished as well. Remember to save it up up the top there. Save over the original there. And I'll catch you in the final video where we add the drums to our track.